Welcome back to Home Lab Networks. Now, I've done a few videos on this install, but I'm going to do it again. So, I've got the face cam. I install guacamole on Portainer. It's a very simple process to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. First off, obviously, we need Portainer installed. If you haven't got that installed, I've got a video up here that I'll link. So, make sure that you get Portainer installed and then come back to this video. Guacamole is a remote desktop gateway. Me will come in, and we want to copy this one here, go back to Portainer, then add container. This is how simple Portainer makes Docker, it's just amazing. Make sure your spacing is correct. Now click on publish network ports to random port host, deploy container. This, this can, can take up to about a minute if you haven't used this before. Note of the port number, so 32776. Put in the IP address of your Portainer machine and put in that port number. Okay. Portainer. Enter. Default username and password for guacamole is guac admin. The same with the password. Users. And what we're going to do is we're going to clone this user. Home lab network. Give it a password. Re enter that password. And But you just want to make sure in permissions you have every type of access you possibly can. It's logged in. Go back to settings. Users. Guac admin. And we go on to delete this account. So the address you're looking for is the IPv4 new connection, and you can put these in groups and have it all nice and organised if you like. So let, we'll name this connection Windows Windows 10 location root. That's fine. So the protocol will be in C. Windows uses RDP. We leave. For these settings alone, that's your IP address from your machine you want to connect to. So 192.168.1.109. And so the port, this port means what is the port for RDP? For RDP is 3389. Here is your username and password for your Windows machine you're trying to log into. To do is the security mode. I n normally put it as any. It's on my home network. I'm not too worried about security. And then we want to ignore the certificate for the server. All this. Keep in mind this does does affect the performance. All the way down. Click save. All right. So Windows 10. Click it. And then here we go. So we have now officially remoted into our machine. That's how to set up guacamole using Portainer in your home lab and how to remote into a machine or a PC on your network. Thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you in the next one.